don't like it. It's, it's no, no numbers. There's no pictures. There's no videos. There's no, no gameplay. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Yo, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope everyone's having a good day so far. Two day framers. We are back with another Palio video. This time around, we're going to be going over update 0 0.182, which is called the Summer Serenade Patch. Now, framers, I want to give you just a, just a little bit of a warning here. A little bit of a warning. This update is the first one since the Daybreak acquisition. Now, what does that mean? Well, we're going to see the outcome of this whole acquisition in this patch. This is, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes, right? However, this is, we're going we're gonna to see how the Daybreak acquisition has affected Singularity 6, how it's affected Palia. This is, from now on, you're going to start seeing updates that affect the game from Daybreak from the daybreak acquisition. So just keep that in mind as we're going through this. And one thing I am going to be a little iffy about is if there's no story content in this patch, I'm going to be a little disappointed um, because right now that's the only thing that I'm looking forward to, because if it's anything else, uh, um, I, I don't know what they're doing. I, I really know. I, I think the game is going to face some hardships if we're not going to see story content this month. So, let's go ahead and dive into this thing, man. It, it looks interesting. Looks interesting, to say the least. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and look at this. Goodness gracious. Okay. So, starting off with... We're not, we're not going to look at the out-of-glance stuff. We've got to look at everything in this. New features and updates. Home tours in the home tour store. In the last update, the S6 team shared our metaphorical cozy castle with all you Pallians. And now it's your turn. Pick one of your housing plots and submit it to home tours. I'm pretty sure Free Realms had a feature like this, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Share your home designs and creation with other palettes. Visit other palettes' home for new inspiration. Hosting your home. Interact with the green home tour button. Um. Each week, you can select one of your home plots, submit into your current home tours event. Once you submit, palettes will be able to visit an instant, instance version of your home plot where they can see what you've designed, provide reactions, and be inspired by your home. Well, my house is, my home is pretty much done. So, that'll be cool. Each home tour event runs for one week and will reset at the end of the, end of the weekend. Okay. Note that once you enter one of your home plots in the housing tour event, you cannot select a different plot to enter during that event. So, be sure to pick the correct plot when entering. So, do you, do you get rewarded for doing this or... Visiting others, access the home tour board menu, you see other plots that Palians have entered in the week's event. Feel free to explore their home and provide an emoji re reaction based on what you think. Tour tickets and home tours each week. There will be... Wait. Oh, tour tickets and home tours store. Each week there will be two weekly accomplishments to complete by visiting an emoji reacting to other plots and home tours. These challenges will reward a new currency called tour tickets. Tour tickets can be used at the home tour store to redeem new rewards and items. Interact with the green home tour sign to access the home tour store. The home tour store features brand new rewards. This seems complicated. Including unique nameplates, jukeboxes to play new lo-fi tunes on your plot, and several new wallpaper and floor options. Read on to learn more about the new nameplates and lo-fi jukeboxes. Okay. So nameplates. Okay. In, I mean, I'll, I'll have to look at it. I don't. Is the wallpaper animated or something? Because the wallpaper is animated. That's cool. Jukebox. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want that. Um. Oh, they're gonna. Okay, they're gonna go over it. Nameplates. Add style to your name with new nameplate customizations. Oh. 
That's interesting. That's cool. Uh, nameplates are a new way to add flair to how others view you in, pa in the Pallian world by adding a background behind your character's name. You can also see your active nameplate in the top left corner of the HUD or choose to activate it over your character locally with an option in the settings menu. Uh, when other players visit your home plot and provide emoji reactions, you'll unlock nameplates themed after the associated emoji. There are three tiers of each nameplate theme to unlock. The more reactions you accumulate, the higher the tier you'll unlock. When a home tour event ends, uh, the nameplate rewards will be distributed to players and emojis even keep in lane will be reset. Emoji reaction options will vary slightly each week with a different option being cycled in to mix things up. You'll also be able to unlock certain nameplates for the home tour store through tour tickets. Interesting. Interesting. All right, yeah, the jukeboxes. Goodness gracious, sorry. I just woke up, so. Little, 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 eh. But, you know, um, change up the music vibe in your plot with new lo-fi jukeboxes. Jukeboxes are another new reward coming to the home tour store. A new lo-fi beats your home plot by placing a jukebox and interacting with it. Um, each jukebox has a different song, so you can keep mixing up the vibe of your home plot. Okay. Catch them. Wait. Okay, so they're not going to show off the wallpaper. Okay. Catch them raised in the... The new conservatory building. The new conservatory building is now available in the city hall. Sword note, this is a standalone structure. Okay. Interesting. I mean, you're not going to show the inside of it? W what is this thing? Is this like a gardening house? I'm not going to buy it. Me personally, my house is already done. I've already done the most I can with it, so. We're good there. Um... Summer Stripe Decor Set. Embrace Summer is a brand new furniture set. Um, can we look at it? Huh. Okay. Wait. Purchasable when featuring the underground black market. Okay, so some of them are from Rummage Piles and Shopping Nests. Some are from Ruth's Register. Okay. Um, cool. Style on the go with saved outfits. See if it you like will try out new outfits in the wardrobe. Save that outfit and now you can equip save outfits to a wheel from the collections menu. That's actually really cool. I mean, that's a, it's a neat feature, but I don't know if I needed that. I mean, hey, you know, if you want to change an outfit on the go, you do it. So that's pretty neat. Interesting. Um, save the outfit now. You can equip save outfit to a wheel from the collection menu. Once equipped, open up the emote wheel, move to the secondary wheel to access saved outfit to put on a new outfit to suit whatever occasion or adventure you find yourself in. Now players can save and delete outfits. Save, delete saved outfits only from the wardrobe. Makes sense. More login rewards. We have a few events coming up that will yield you sweet loot. Keep an eye out for these upcoming login rewards. Indulge in the sweet sounds of summer from with whimsical tunes from the morning in Bahari Jukebox. Log in anytime from Wednesday, July 31st. That's tomorrow. Uh, 10 a.m. PT to Tuesday, August 13th at 9 a.m. PT to receive this gift. Or fear of missing out stuff. Another Flutterfox plush has appeared. Ah, yes, the world is saved. We have another plushie. Add the Summer Flutter Fox plus your collection log in at any time from Tuesday, August 13th, 10 a.m. PT to Tuesday, August 27th at 7 a.m. PT to receive this gift. Wow. Okay. Cool. Is that the, is that the beef of the update? Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> uh, improvements and adjustments. Upgrade updates to Zeki's machine. Spring and winter Flutter Fox plushies have been added to the loophole for Zeki's Wonders machine. Okay. Wait, why? That's kind of weird. All right. An additional hot pot table has appeared in the underground. Ooh. Zeki and Reth have procured another hot pot table in the underground so that more Pallians can play at once. It's located next to one of the prize wheels. Improved nav mesh and spawning in nav mesh. Spawning in Kalima and Bahari. We made a number of changes around Kalima and Bahari to improve how hunting creatures and insects spawn and navigate. Uh... The key areas we improved are insects spawn from mining notes or 
more reliably spawn on the ground and be catchable. Hey, there you go. Nice. Hunting creatures are less likely to teleport around. Good. Hunting creatures are less likely to end up behind cliffs. Good. Okay. I've started hunting again. You know, I've started hunting because, uh, you know, Daybreak acquired Singularity 6 and it pissed me off. So, <laughs> yeah, nice. I care about that now. Um, submit bundles from storage. Players no longer need to worry about forgetting that last item back home when trying to complete a bundle at the Night Sky Temple. I'm sorry, you're doing that now? Why, why is that getting implemented now when I have it done? Oh, pain, dude. Uh, when in photo mode, UI elements like flower watering bars will not appear. Nice. This is another way friendship quest requirements have been adjusted from Ruby to an Aquamarine. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, reduce requirements for your order is served. Players will now only need to submit three petite fives and ref is handling the rest. Okay. Cool. Premium store updates. The new Galder Pup Pet is now available for purchase. Dude. I... Are you kidding me? Like, I think Singular 6 needs to read the room. Like, listen, if you're going to put a pet into the game, right? And I've been saying this for a little bit. Put a chop into the game. It's right there, dude. It's, it's like, no one asked for the pup. No one asked for the puppy. Just saying. Just saying. I don't even know if I'm going to get this guy. I mean, it's like a little Einar, so maybe. Possibly. I don't know. I just want to chop him, man. That's all I want. You know? Is it too much to ask? What the? What is? What? Offer up some treats and get each Galder pup pet to show you special tricky mode as it cannot contain ex excitement. Soar through the skies with the new Elaru glider. What is this? What in the Dumbo? All right, cool. I don't, I don't know if I'm getting that. I don't, I'm probably not. I, I why? <laughs> Our new outfit bundle and three outfits have been added to the premium store available immediately. Oh, that one's pretty neat. These two suck, but well, I don't even know if I'm gonna get that one. Depends on the colors, but looks pretty neat. Is it called game night? Is that what it's called? It's gotta be. Okay. Um. Okay, these are garbage. I'm not a fan. Um. August 13th, premium store updates. Plush enthusiast. I might as well get that. I mean, I am a plush enthusiast, you know. Um. And then clockmaker. Oh, like a steampunk outfit? Interesting. Uh, not a fan. Uh, bug fixes. Fix some, some circumstances players may be able to pick up loot from hunting. Nice. It's a good change. Um, no, this may not address all issues, so please continue sending reports in. Okay. Reduce memory costs across Kaleem Bahari in order to improve stability across all devices. Cool. Fix an issue where Heckle's friendship level 5 rewards being awarded along with the friendship level 4 reward. Why'd you fix that? Leave that, leave that, leave that like it is, okay? Fix an issue where players are unable to complete the Befriend the Blacksmith quest after reaching level, Friendship Level 4 with Sifu. Holy. Um, fix an issue where Paltech Gourmet and Floats him. The core sets were not count, okay. I'm gonna read the ones that, uh, that matter to me. <laughs> um... Okay, housing in the core, fixing sure players could not place a bellflower curtain. Um Okay. Fixing sure players who had been kicked from community were not immediately removed from sending and reading community chat. Oh. Premium cosmetics. Fixing sure where an unequipped where an equipped pet would will be will disappear after traveling Bahari Bay. Oh. Okay. Is this it? Holy crap. Brother. It's been months since a story content update. What is going on? I mean, 
to be fair, this is through the lens of now we are under daybreak. You know, this is this is after the daybreak acquisition. So I kind of expected it to be a nothing kind of update. There is, I mean, dude, this is like, this is pretty much a premium store update and you get sprinkled in some loot. This was, I, I don't know. The home tour is the only thing that I think people are going to be doing. I might participate. I don't know. My house is not technically done, but it is, you know? So, I'll probably include it, but, uh, yeah, not looking good. If this is what it's going to be for the rest of the year, I'm going to be a little upsetty spaghetti, dude. Because we haven't seen story in so long. It, it, that's, that's crazy to me that we haven't seen story in forever. It's wild. I don't I don't know what to say, man. I really don't. I really don't. I don't think um I don't think this is looking good for people who you know want to get into the game. This isn't enough, man. I feel like it's it's half premium store, half here's some here's some like plushies and yeah, it's it's not a whole lot. I don't know, man. I think if we don't see a story update in September, that's when we can be worried, you know? But, like, yeah, not, I'm not thrilled with this update at all. Um, I'm probably just going to be doing what I've been normally doing in Palia. But, uh, yeah, this is this is interesting, man. Holy. Can't believe this. Can't believe this. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is the update. Um, Huh. I mean, dude, there isn't anything I really... I think, like, there's certain things that are cool. Home tours is interesting. I, I, I'll I wait to see how it works. It might not be worth doing at all, but... um, I think the only, like, thing I appreciated was the style on the go thing. Um, and I mean, that's about it. I don't know, man. There, there's not a lot that's going to want me, that's going to make me play Palia more. Um, story is obviously the one thing I care about the most because I love the lore of the game. But, uh, yeah, man, that's the update for today. Um, we'll probably, we'll figure something out with what we're doing. We still have to get a bunch of plushies. So, you know, I think that's going to tide us over for a good month, you know. But we'll see. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. If you did. I appreciate it a ton, and I will see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.